Hey, we're here at the Ziggurat today, and it's also known as the uh, Chet Hofield Federal Building. And the reason we're here today is it's for sale. So the Ziggurat um, was originally put up for sale in 2022 for $77 million, and it received no bids at all. And the reason was there was a uh, an easement they put on the building where it was uh, mandated that this building right here, beautiful, <laughs> be unchanged and kept for historical purposes. And no bids. Well, they figured that that was a hindrance to the au auction, so they put it up again uh, this last June for 72 million and they received multiple bids and the auction is actually still going on. Right now, the uh, price is 152 million and you can still bid on it with a $200,000 deposit, fully refundable. So let's just take a look at the grounds, see what you get. It's actually 92 acres that are here and it's fully redevelopable, which is awesome. Um, let me just do some math for you real quick. Now, as if you've looked at new properties, you've probably seen smaller and smaller lots. Average size lot now is uh, just, just under 3,000 square feet, meaning you get 14 homes on every acre. So, and they all sell well over a million dollars. Let me just do some quick math here for you. So 43,560 square feet in an acre divided by, let's just say 3,000 square feet, 14.5 times 92. That is 1,335 square feet. Oh wait, 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 1,335 homes that you could build times, let's just say you get $1 million for each one. That is going to be $1.3 billion <laughs> for, for a, uh, an investment here. Now you probably can't use, I mean, there, it's not all homes. You need to have infrastructure like streets and get us some parks. So maybe instead of 1,333 homes, you get 1,000 homes. So $1 billion, not bad, not bad, not a bad profit. So uh, it's for sale right now and you can bid on it. Now, full disclosure here, full disclosure. If you do bid on this property and, and win, and I represent you, I do get a small commission, half a percent. Piddly little half percent for me. Um, but it works out to a pretty good commission. Um, so anyway, it's for sale right now, and we're gonna go on a tour of this beautiful property. Now, we are at uh, 24,000 Villa Road right here, as you can see by the address, right? right here, but we're gonna take a tour. The value here is really the parking lot because the parking lot makes up the bulk of the space. You also get a, uh, a little bonus, which is the uh, cooling towers and air conditioning facilities, which are old and probably need to be torn down. But that's right over there, right over there on the corner. So not only do you get this whole federal building right here. But you also get this whole parking lot area. This is just one small section of parking lot. But there's some, you know, dining tables over there. For me, I would tear it all down, start over from scratch. Now we're headed down the hill to the high security entrance with a nice view of the parking lot. There are actually 4,777 parking spaces here. We're gonna turn right to the main security entrance now. And you can see it's pretty, pretty substantial entrance. This is actually a seven story building and has 
just about 1 million square feet. And you can't say it here, but there are actually 3,840 solar cells on the roof. Now let's go take a look at more of the parking lot and we're headed towards the basketball courts, which are way in the back, right off Alicia. So here's the basketball facility. We got one, two, three, four basketball courts right here. And this is Molten and Aliso Creek right over here. And then right on, right caddy corner is uh, Aliso Creek Recreation Park. I've got a, a great video that I'll put up at the end. There's gonna be a link to it on that whole Aliso Creek um, recreation area. There's a trail there, great for mountain biking, running. Um, goes to uh, the top of the world. You could actually access top of the world through these trails. Um, you can mountain bike up there. So this is very, very, very valuable land being auctioned off currently. Current bid, 152 million. Um, I would say it's gonna sell for more um, just by the math, you know. There's, there's houses, just single houses in LA selling for 50 million. It's ridiculous. I mean, you could get this for three times the cost. And if you're an investor, make way more money, way more money. So, and if you're interested in financing, if you don't have the 152 million, I know it's, it's a fair amount of money. <laughs> If you don't have it, I have great lenders. I have, I have lenders that can finance the whole thing for you. You gotta put at least 20% down, at least. But Now we're headed across the basketball courts to El Lazo and Alicia Parkway. And we're gonna take a look at the uh, Laguna Design Center, home to many uh, furniture stores, accessories, and there's actually a really great cafe there called the Plumeri Cafe, uh, run by Stax Pancake House. Very delicious place to eat inside the Laguna Design Center. So let's go take a look at that. Um, there's also Goodwill that you could drop stuff off at. Now the Goodwill um, will not be there after close of escrow, which is approximately 180 days. There are also, there's about 3,000 employees that still work in this uh, particular federal building. They also will not be there after the close of escrow. So rest assured, you're not gonna have uh, employees showing up for work. So you can see this parking lot's not used much. All the weeds are growing up. Very mature trees, I would definitely keep these. Now you might ask yourself why this property is for sale. Well, the government has actually identified it as an underutilized building a million square feet with 3,000 employees just doesn't make sense. Now this is the back entrance to the Laguna Design Center. That's how you get in. And I don't see Plumeria Cafe on the sign, but is it? This is the entrance. Now some quick history about this uh, Ziggurat building. It was actually originally built by North American Rockwell. And they built it for light manufacturing and didn't put any windows on the bottom three floors, the largest floors um, that this building has. So only the top four floors have windows. And that's kind of a major issue for most of the people that um, are gonna use a building like this. So that's why it was never occupied and underutilized for all these years. Now the city's totally on board with the new owner of this property to redevelop it, to redevelop the land and make it a resource again for the city. Right now, the federal government has really done a poor job taking care of this property. They had a, a study to um, make the bottom three floors to retrofit them, make them more usable. Um, and they estimated the cost to be close to $1 billion to do that. And fortunately decided to sell it. And the city, you know, they, they want this done too. look down one of the hallways so looks like they're tearing it up get ready for the property to be sold 
So it's a very interesting material they used to make the walls here. It's actually a mold that kind of looks like uh, inlaid rocks. I don't know if you can see this material, but or this, but it's like inlaid rocks, and it's a very unique color as well. It's, it's yellowish, and it stands out for miles. You can really see the yellowish color, and immediately go, "Oh, that's the ziggurat." Kind of looks like uh, that ancient pyramid. It's called the Step Pyramid from uh, ancient Egypt, built before the uh, the smooth walled pyramids. I think that's what they were going after here, as far as uh, architecture style. Step Pyramid. So I think it's readily apparent that nobody really likes the Step Pyramid style. <laughs> And uh, that's why there's no auction or no bids on the first auction. And then there's uh, many, many bids on the second auction here. So we're right at the corner of uh, a villa in El Lazo. And um, there's not a lot of information about the building sale here, except uh, right here there's a sign. It says for sale development opportunity. And uh, there's a email address. Laguna Ridge at GSA. So, realestatesales.gov. That's where you can bid on it. So there's a camp there. And then there's the uh, Chet Holfield building uh, sign. So. so exciting. Exciting uh, opportunity here for anybody with 152 plus million. Um, and I'd be honored to represent you if you do have 152 million and you're thinking about even considering buying something like this. Be the uh, opportunity of a lifetime. Um, you're not going to get all the information that you need to make good real estate decisions from watching just this one video. So, as we stated before, there's a fantastic video on the Aliso Creek Recreation Area. So, just click right here right there and it will take you to that tour and enjoy I mean that's a very good video it tells you all about the area and it's right catty corner to the uh, south end of this uh, shopping center